Hi friends. So today our discussion will be on the chapter sequence and series. So what is sequence? Sequence is a set of numbers um, in a particular order. That means each number we can derive by a particular rule. Okay, let us take an example of a sequence like that. Uh, let us take 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 in this way. Okay, so for the first term, for this sequence, first term is 1. Second term is 4. So that can be written as the for the first term, that is first term means 1, so 1 square. Second term that is 2 square, okay, 4. Third term for 3, third term that is 9. So for third term it can be written as this. So what do you, what do you think that, uh, what will be the nth term of this sequence? So nth term, nth term will be n square okay so any term explicitly we can represent by for this sequence is u n is n square where n is n belongs to the set of natural number okay and n is n is greater than equal to 1 okay so any term any term of this sequence can be derived by this explicit formula. So this is the particular rule for this sequence. Okay. So any term of this sequence can be derived by a particular rule. So this is our sequence for other sequence for any other sequence you can take. Uh, let us take a sequence. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, like that. So in that case, first term is 5. Okay. The second term is, first term is 5. So second term is 10. So 10 can be represented as 5 into 2. 5 can be represented as 5 into 1. Third term is 15. Okay. 15 can be represented as 5 into 3. So, you see here for the term 1, in here we can take 1. For the term 2, here we, we have taken 2. For the term 3, here we have taken 3. So, what will be our nth term? That must be 5 into n. That means 5n. So here for this sequence, the explicit formula will be 5n, where n is a natural number, n belongs to set of natural number and n is greater than equal to 1. So in this way, if we know the explicit formula of, the, of any particular sequence, we can derive any term for this sequence. Okay? And if the sequence, sometimes it's happened, sequence is given. So from this sequence, we will derive the explicit formula. Okay. Uh, the given problem is, uh, is, is a sequence where we have to find the nth term of this sequence. Okay. So you look the term of this sequence. Uh, for the, you see that the numerator is represent the num position of the term. Okay. So for the first term it is 1, for the second term it is 2, for the third term it is 3, for the fourth term it is 4 in, uh, in this way. Okay. So and uh, now we dis discuss the denominator. So for the first term, first term our denominator is 4. For the second term our denominator is 9. For the third term it is 60. For the fourth term, it is 25. In this way, it's going on. Now look at this. 4 means that is 2 square. That is 3 square. 
that is 4 square, that is 5 square, in this way. Okay? Now you look that for the first term, this is 2. So it is just one term more. That means we can represent it as 1 plus 1 whole square. Okay? For 3, for the second term, it, it, it is 3. So that can be represented as 2 plus 1 square. For third term, it is 4. That can be represented as 3 plus 1. For fourth term, fourth term, this is 5. 4 plus 1 whole square. Okay? So you see here, here this first part represents the term. Which term it is. Okay? So now we can write the general nth term. nth term. For the sequence. You see, if the numerator represents directly the term. So for the for one it is one for the two for second term it is two for uh, third term it is three so <coughs> in a term that will be a okay and the denominator is re represented as for first term this, this is one plus one for second term this is two plus one for third term this is three plus one fourth term it is four plus one in this way so what will be our nth term in place n, so that will be n plus 1 whole square. So that, that is the nth term of this sequence. Okay? So it is ua, explicitly we can write it as ua, where n is, is a natural number and n is greater than or equal to 1. Hopefully you see here, the sequence is given. So the term, you look at this term, that numerator part is same for all the terms, okay? And the uh, sequence, so the part for the denominator part. And you see here that uh, for denominator, it differ for each term for 3, okay? So this is 5, this is 8, this is 11, so this differ for 3. So for the first term, so we can we can say that the here we discuss about this sequence only. Okay. So for the first term it is five. For the second term this is eight. For the third term it is eleven. For the fourth term this is fourteen in this way. Okay. So that can be represented as three. That can be represented as 3 into 1 plus 2. You can write it in this way. This term can be represented as 3 into 2 plus 2. This term can be 3 into 3 plus 2. This is 3 into 4 plus 2 in this way. Okay. So you see here for first term, the term represents this, this part. So, second term, this is 2. For third term, this is 3. Fourth term, this is 4. So, what will be our nth term for this? For nth term, will be for this sequence. For this sequence, we are discussing about this sequence. For nth term, that will be 3 n plus 2. Okay? Where n is natural number. So, if the denominator part represented by this, so we easily can find the nth term of our given sequence. So, un, our given sequence, the nth term, nth term of our given sequence is un, what will be this? 2 is common. So, and, and the denominator will be 3a plus 2. Where n belongs to state of natural number, n is greater than or equal to 1. Okay? Here you see our next problem is given. Uh, first we represented it in a proper way. Okay, so here first term is 1. Second term 
is minus half. Third term is 1 by 4. Fourth term is minus 1 by 8. Fifth term is 1 by 16. In this way. Okay. So from here can we can you think that how will be our term? 1 by 4, 1 fourth. It is represented as 1 by 2 square. Minus 1 by 8 can be represented as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cube. 1 by 16 can be represented as 1 by 2 4. But uh, for our uh, for take the general term, we will take here minus, minus. Here also we can write it minus 1 by 2 to the power 1. Here 1 can be represented as minus 1 by 2 to the power 0. Okay. Now you can recognize the term. You can, how it is defined. You can understand this. Here you see that for to the power 0 it become 1. And here for, for the even power, this become positive. For the odd power, it become negative. So each term can be represented as minus half to the power something. Okay. And now we, we can find out our nth term. So what will be our nth term? Here you see that. The terms differ only for its power. Okay. So here for the first term, here it is 0. For the second one, it is 1. For the third one, it is 2. So it just one less of the number of term. Okay. If the power is just one less from the number of its term. Okay. For 1, this becomes 0. For 2, this becomes 1. For 3, 2. For 4, it, it is 3. So, we can easily understand what will be our nth term then. So, minus half is common. So, now we put here the power. So, what will be our power? n minus 1. So, this is our nth term. Here you see that here n is a set of, uh, belongs to set of natural number. And n is greater than equal to 1. Okay.